welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you version 2 of my Balkan potato salad. This is a really nice light potato salad. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, here I've got my potatoes, I'm cutting those in half, and in half again, and then I'm going to cut those, well this particular one, I'm cutting those into thirds. So we want these potatoes to be around about half inch cubes, if possible. So in half and then into thirds. Now, I allow about two to two and a half potatoes per person. That is for a average meal. If it's a bit of a party, just maybe allow three potatoes per person. All right, I'm gonna wipe down my chopping board and I'll put that away and uh, let's get on with the next step. So what I've done is I've just covered those potatoes with a bit of cold water like that and a good dose of salt goes in as well. Really important to salt your potatoes early on. Gets that, uh, gets that cooking process happening and gets that real nice saltiness to them. So what we wanna do is we're gonna bring these up to a boil. I'm using my temperature probe so I can go off and do a couple of other things. And when I've reached my sort of 95 to 96 degree mark, I know I can start concentrating on what's going on here. I've set a timer for 10 minutes. That's all we need to really boil these for, maybe 15 at a, at a stretch. Well, when a skewer goes through, just nice and they're nice and firm and they're not soggy, those potatoes are done. I'm gonna take those off and I'm gonna strain those out. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna let them come back up to room temperature after they've drained off. All right. Be back in a second. There we go. So I'm going to bring those up to, or bring them down to room temperature. I'm then going to put those in the refrigerator and let them chill right down. Now, I'm going to make a vinaigrette. You see me use these little squeezy bottles all the time, and it's a really good little way to go. But if you don't have one of these, here's a great hack for you. Get a water bottle. Just one of those bottles that you've bought from the store, full of water. All right. I'm going to make our vinaigrette. Now vinaigrette is going to be two parts oil to one part vinegar. Right, you can use the vinegar of your choice. I prefer to use an apple cider vinegar. I like that little bit of fruitiness to it. Shake it up really nice and well. And there we go. Look, that's all emulsified just like that. And you haven't spent money on something you don't need. Right, one red onion. Slice these into nice little rings like that we don't need a lot of onion we only need really two little rings like that per person that is usually enough if you want to put a little bit more in go for it remove the skin of course and then all we're going to do now is just cut this onion up nice and fine and the reason I've done it this way is what's the point in dicing up a whole onion when all you need is just a couple of tablespoons worth. So I'm gonna put that into a nice salad bowl, like that, mm, how easy. And you wanna cut this up nice and fine. People don't want big chunks of onion in there. So there's our onion in our bowl. Here's our nice, really cold potatoes. They're going in like that. And all we need to do now is a little bit of extra salt on top and give it a little bit of white pepper as well, if you like. I'll let you season it the way you like it, but I'm just using a little bit of white pepper straight over the top. It's not as strong as the black pepper. And now we're just gonna dose our salad with a bit of our vinaigrette, just like that. Mm, how easy was that? Now, all we need to do is just gently fold that dressing and that onion into our potato, just very gently Start from the sides and work your way towards the center and just give it a little bit of a toss very, very gently. Remember, these potatoes can still be a little bit fragile. Anyway, serve this up with your favorite grilled meats or a roast. Uh, even better, we like to put a pig on the spit and serve it up that way. So there you go. KP's Balkan Potato Salad version number two, the vinaigrette version. I'd like to see you try and make this one at home. It is easy. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. 
should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. And also, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified sometimes when the new video goes up. But more importantly, if you want to see every one of my videos, I want you to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. All right, I've got to, got to go and get the meat off the grill to go with my potato salad. I will catch you next time. Bye.